Ted. Hey, good morning. I'm going to read to you out of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 through 10. It says, We now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like <laughs> fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we're not crushed. We're perplexed, but not driven to despair. We're hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. You know, there's a line of thought in the Christian community that once a person comes to faith, that person's struggles and trials will disappear. If they do not disappear, it's because that person is lacking something important in their faith. This line of teaching is displayed in books like The Power of Positive Thinking, Your Best Life Now, God's Will is Prosperity, and You're Supposed to Be Wealthy. These are all books that are bestsellers. And the appeal of these books and their heretical authors cuts at the foundation of faith. People flock to their false gospel because they want to be rich and they want to be healthy and they want to be happy in this world. The problem with this theology is that it doesn't fit with Scripture at all. These authors use single verses taken out of context to enrich themselves. By their definitions, here are some people who lacked proper faith because they didn't have positive thinking or they weren't prosperous. The Apostle Paul, because he was imprisoned, he was beaten with stones, and he was poor. Stephen, he was put to death. If he had more faith, he would have gotten up and walked out of there after being hit with all those rocks. The Apostle John, he was in prison on the Isle of Patmos. James the Apostle, he was beheaded by Herod. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. You know, if they had been more positive with their thinking, they could have had their best lives then. Here's the reality taught by Scripture. We're reminded of it here in this passage in 2 Corinthians. We ourselves are like fragile clay jars. We're pressed on every side by troubles. We are often perplexed we're occasionally hunted down. We've all been knocked down at some point. All of these things occur in our lives so that through our suffering, that's what the Holy Spirit says to the Apostle Paul, through our suffering, others may see our unshakable faith in our amazing Savior, Jesus, and be drawn to him. Pray with me. Lord, forgive me for the times that I have missed the opportunity to show my faith in the midst of some struggle or trial. I know, Lord, 
that it's an opportunity for a testimony. Not about me and how positive my thoughts can be or how wealthy I can become, but about you, my amazing Savior, who, in spite of the troubles that I face, I trust fully and completely and will walk through the valley of the shadow of death with. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.